Is this on? Is it working? <laughs> Hello everybody, it's me here, Cameron Brown, and warm welcome to my channel. I am How To Cameron. I have been a content creator for nine years, and I'm doing a video today uh, coming out with my university results. <laughs> um, <laughs> I got a 2-2 two -two in chemistry, okay, I got a 2-2 two -two in chemistry. We'll talk about how close I was to a third later in the video. Uh, but I want to firstly start off by mentioning a TikTok that I actually did. So I did a TikTok, and it was a pretty sad TikTok. I'll play it here. This TikTok got like 90,000 views, which is obviously a lot. But more importantly, it got a lot of hate comments. So I had a lot of people saying, you know, you used to bully people uh, for their GCSE results and now you get a 2-2, it's karma. People just making fun of me for it. And it just hit me how famous I actually am. Like, yes, I only have 19,000 subs. Yes, my videos get no views. But I am written. I am written in the YouTube history. Everyone remembers me for bullying the GCSE students. I'm sorry, I don't even care what grade I got at bloody uni. I don't care if I even got a third, okay? How can someone sit a GCSE exam and get a grade one in maths? Okay, especially that ghost. Holly is, uh, Holly is retarded. How, how did she get a grade one in maths? Like, I don't care what grade I got in bloody chemistry. This girl got a grade one in maths. I bullied her years ago, I'll bully her again. I think, the, the degree I did, a lot of the motivation I had for it was because I was in a relationship with someone who was very academic. Uh, Isha actually got into Cambridge. I, I get that me saying I'm proud of my ex is, is pathetic. I get that it comes across that way, but that's genuinely how I feel. You know, when you love someone, you love them, okay? I don't care what crap, you know, we've had between each other. I don't care how much we, we both hate each other in this moment. Uh, I'm proud of her. I know how much she wanted to get into Cambridge. I'm proud of her. As I mentioned before, chemistry was something that I, I really enjoyed doing. I really enjoyed uni when I was in a relationship with her. Her academia, it rubbed off on me. But after she left me, um, a part of me died. And that part of me was was my um, academic side, I guess. And I, that sounds a bit mad. It actually sounds really mad to say that. What happens is as you get older and you grow up in your life, you know, yes, you change, but the old version of you, it's still there. It's in the back of your mind. And that sometimes breaks through. You know, it's why you can change as a person and you can move on from someone. But then one day you have a bad day and you miss them. It's because that old version of you it is chiming in and the more depressed you get and the more that you struggle with your life in the present, the more you escape into the past and that makes that old version of you come back out. And that's why in the third year, I really struggled a lot because I missed my ex. I was stuck in the past of, of you know, me being in a relationship with her and loving uni. When I was depressed because I was doing a degree and I didn't want to do that degree and I was forcing myself through it, I was going back in my mind uh, to the old version of myself that loved her. The good news is, is she changed a lot as a person. So as much as I missed her, you know, I'd look at her social media and I'd be like, oh, she's got hairy armpits now. But that was after a bit of a process of thought. So it wasn't an initial like, oh, I miss her, it doesn't matter. No, it took me a bit of time to be like, well, I miss her, but she's changed as a person. And that time where I was in that consideration in that, almost that, like, uh, what am I waffling about? Like, it's hard to explain. It's really hard to explain, but that's how I felt. You know, I would be doing my degree. It'd make me miss the old times when, you know, she, which she was such a big part of. She was such a big part of my university experience. Pretty much the whole of my university experience for the first year and a half. Um, so when I was doing my degree, it made me miss her, made me want her back. And instead of me being able to quickly say to myself, she's changed as a person, she don't want to be with you anymore. Um, I just had to consider it for longer and it just made me really depressed. Um, but since I, um, I finished uni, um, I felt great. I felt so good. And I know that I might come across as a loser. I know that the things I say come across as ridiculous, but I'm honest with you guys. I'm never going to use social media as a way to, to showcase the highlights of my life. This isn't about smoke and mirrors. Um, 
I have my problems, like I'm sure a lot of you guys do too, uh, or girls or whatever, whoever the fuck's watching this video. Ultimately, I struggled with a lot, and that degree was something I wasn't so passionate about. And the thing is with the 2-2 two -two is it is actually the best of both worlds in the sense that one, it kind of forces you to look for jobs outside of chemistry, such as management, business. This is what I want to want to pursue in the future more so. But then you can still go down the chemistry field with a 2-2 two -two in chemistry, especially from University of Nottingham, a great uni. You can do a lot of master's degrees, uh, obviously in chemistry. At Russell Group Unis, I know that you can go to, to University of Manchester, I know they take two twos. So if in the future I do want to do chemistry and take it to the next level, I can. So it's not like it's closed the door for me. But why would I want a postgraduate program in chemistry when I didn't enjoy it? Like I don't mind doing a chemistry job, but there's a difference between doing a chemistry job and a postgraduate scheme. Those two things are very different. Okay, postgraduate schemes are more about learning more chemistry jobs you're getting down to business okay for me i'm open to a chemistry job of course i am because i do enjoy chemistry i just don't enjoy studying it and i don't enjoy that student mentality i just want to work i want to go down management and business i think business and management there's more money in it i think it resonates more with me i love working with people i think i have a managerial uh, presence i just think i naturally am a manager uh, i think the way i speak the way i can carry myself the way I think about things, because I am intelligent. Like I'm very scientifically minded. I can resolve problems quite easily. I can retain information well. And I also pick up things quick. And I think those things are, are things that management you know, looks for. And with a 2-2 in chemistry, you can go into management with that trainee management, albeit, because obviously I have no experience. The one thing that frustrates me about degrees is how people try to compare all the grades on a, on a similar system. Uh, a 2-2 two -two in a STEM subject is better than a 2-1 in practically every non-STEM subject, okay? And that's a fact. I guess law is the only one I can think of where that's not specifically the case. I think a lot of the reason why I got stick on, on that TikTok I made was one, because I'm famous for my GCSE reaction videos and people are still butt hurt over them. But you've got to remember the haters are always going to be more vocal than the supporters. So I think I have a lot more supporters than haters. It's just that the haters are, are louder and more annoying. Um, but I think a lot of these people, they look at the grade 2-2 two, two and they go, wow, that's shit. But then they're just looking at it from a universal point of view. Like, oh, well, that person got one, a first in, in fashion. I had someone, I remember I saw someone's Instagram profile. They put, oh, I've got first class honours in, in video production. And I was literally thinking to myself, like, bro, why? It doesn't matter if it's a first class, it's, it's fucking useless for most things. <laughs> like, great, go to video production, they'll love it there. Try and get a job in business or management, they won't care. A 2 2 in chemistry, though, they'll, they'll bend over backwards for. Versus a first in bloody film production and getting no bitches. Like, it's just so funny how people try to compare the grades in like a universal scheme. For me, a 2-2 two -two in chemistry in itself is not that bad. I'm fine with that, like in general. I'm not happy with it, not disappointed in it. But when I put into context how much I struggled doing this degree, I'm glad I survived through it. Uh, not, not even just the degree. Like, I genuinely was suicidal. Like, I had suicidal thoughts. And that's not me trying to get attention because I don't feel that way anymore. <laughs> like, if I was now saying, oh, I have suicidal thoughts, that would be me looking for attention. But I'm over that, and I've been over that for a long time. That's why I'm, you know, talking to you guys about it. Um, I just felt really shit about it. Really did not enjoy chemistry at all. I just felt so out of my depth. I hate being a student. I want to live my life. I want to progress in my life. I want to make money. I want to improve my social life. Things like this. I just never was able to to do. I think it was because I commuted from home. I think that was a big part of it. But then again, that was again due to my ex. Like when I moved, uh, when I got started uni, I was in a stable relationship. The last thing I cared about was, you know, moving out because I thought to myself, I don't need a student life. I have a girlfriend. You know, that that's all the, the communication I need. That's all the socializing I need. And you know what, it was true for the first year. But then we broke up and then I was I was lonely and then it got to third year and yeah obviously you can move out for the third year but then I didn't really have anyone to move out with and I, I just had too much pride to to 
be honest with people and say, listen, like, I need friends, help. Like, I didn't care to, like, look for friends like that. I just wasn't in the mood. I know this is a lot of waffling, but it's just how I feel. So let's talk about how I found out that I got a 2-2. Two -two. So I just finished a night shift at Amazon. Actually, it was during the night shift at Amazon. Uh, it was about 9 in the morning. And, you know, the, the night shift wasn't too hard. I, I finished working at Amazon now. You know, I, I did it for a month. I made about two two grand off it after, after tax. So a lot of money saved up for me to be able to look for a job, get some driving lessons. Like, I don't even have to drive. Um, you know, it's funny. Some people, they complain all the time about privilege. And then they literally had their parents pay for their driving lessons. Like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> How dare you complain about privilege when you literally had your parents paying for your driving lessons. There ain't nothing more privileged than that besides them buying you the goddamn car. And then they have the nerve to, like, bitch at you for not knowing how to drive. Like, I'm sorry, my parents just don't throw money at me. I'm obviously learning how to drive and everything, and I'm, I'm still doing stewarding, so I can subside that a little bit. But I've got plenty of money to burn while I look for a job. So I was working at Amazon. It was about 9 o'clock. I think the results came out at 9. Uh, the internet ain't working. I swear Amazon is just in, a, like, a bowl. Like, there's just no signal coming out and in the facility nothing it's just a bowl it just all reflects reflects or the <laughs> reflects i mean i didn't know if it was refract or reflect so i just said refract <laughs> but like all the signals are reflecting off the dome like whether they're coming from outside they're just reflecting it off or inside they're just going back in there's no signal nothing uh i literally left the facility i asked them, i was like i need to check my results can can i just leave uh, they were like, oh yeah, you can have five minutes, that's fine. Uh, it just didn't even work when we were outside. So clearly the ball, it, it, it's not just a flipping warehouse, it's, it's over the warehouse. It was actually when I was coming back home, uh, my mum had picked me up. And I remember I looked at my marks, and my marks were fucking horrible. Dreadful. In one of my exams, I got 15%. And I was looking through, I was scrolling down, and I was looking at every single exam, and every exam was bad. 20 25 percent maybe 39 percent and i worked it out that i needed 34 i think it was 34.8 percent for me to get a 2-2 two -two. and every single mark i looked at bar one was below that <laughs> and then i i remember i looked down and then one was like 60 and i was like oh thank god but then i realized that was the spring exam not even the spring exam the the january exam so it didn't even matter and i honestly think the reason why I did so shit in these exams was not because of me. It was because I didn't pick any options for my autumn module. Not only is that bad because obviously I had to spread myself out thinner, so I did worse in the exams. If you don't know how it works, obviously the final exams, people are going to put more effort into than the autumn exams because they know what they're going for. Even I did more effort and I did worse because obviously the grade boundaries are all comparative. Um, so if I did less modules in the spring module, more in the autumn module, I would have been affected by that you know that final push work ethic of everyone else less so i looked at the marks and i literally my heart sunk a third in chemistry i would have i i don't know what i would have done i i genuinely don't know what i would have done um i'm literally coming back from a hard night shift as well so i'm there depressed because i'm worried and i've been worried that i'm going to be stuck at this amazon job for ages i've already been worried about that and now i'm coming back in the car and i'm thinking to myself i'm actually gonna a third and i don't know what the fuck i'm gonna do my mum's like oh just click on the award and i click on the award and it says second class division two and i was so relieved but then i was depressed because i was thinking to myself how am i happy at this how did i just scrape a 2-2 and i when i said i scraped it i got 49.25 percent it isn't even a 2-2 it's a 2-2 borderline so what they do with grades is you get a borderline grade and then they look at your other exams and if you fit the algorithm, I do fit the algorithm by the way, they give you the 2-2 two -two, and that's what happened. I looked at the algorithm and I was like, this doesn't even make sense, why did I get just up to a 2-2? Two -two? But I got a 2-2, two -two. it's on the fucking certificate. But I, I scraped it with the skin of my teeth, for the, the skin of my teeth, I scraped that 2-2. Two -two. I was so lucky. And I, I literally was in the car, I was like, I got it, I got a 2-2. My mum was like, that's good, Cameron. You know, 
I knew I gave up doing the degree. Like, I tried. Obviously, I tried, but I can't believe it. Like, if I didn't make that 2-2, there was a presentation, right, we had, and I didn't turn up to it because I couldn't be asked to do it. And it was worth about one credit. Or was it one and a half credits? Obviously, if you get full marks, it's one and a half credits. I wouldn't have got full marks on it, but it's still a little bit of credit. If I got 48.9%, it would have been just because I didn't go to that presentation. Now, I do believe you can reset. So I do, from a technicality, if I got a third, I, I probably, well, I could have reset about four of the exams. So I, I would have been able to, to get it higher if I didn't hit the 2-2, two because -two, you can still reset. I'm, I'm still shaking a little bit over it. Because a third, I just don't know what I would have done with a third. I would have been so disappointed in myself because... First year I got first, but it didn't, it didn't mean anything. Second year, went through a horrible breakup, got a 2-1. Third year, I think if I average all the marks, I don't even think I got a third. I think I legit got a fail or a pass. Like, I don't, I don't know what happened in this third year. Everything just went wrong from an academic standpoint. But I got through it, and I'm, I'm proud of myself because I still deserve the 2-2. I know I deserve the 2-2. Papa Cameron doing the exams in 2021, that guy deserves a two, a two one, but this retard in the third year, you know, he deserves a two. He deserves a fucking fail, but then it cancels out, so it's a two two. I don't know what I would have done, because it's a very different position to be in. A third and a two two are very different grades, very different grades. But I did it, you know, I got through it. And a two two is like, you know, if if any employer looks at your degree, you know, you can say I struggled a lot with that degree. I, I struggled through some personal shit. And they'll believe you and they'll think, oh, he was good at the degree, but he's just he just struggled. But if you turn up with a third, then they ain't even interviewing you. Like that's just how it is. Um But yeah, that's it for my my video. I d I don't know if this was funny or anything. Um a lot of it was obviously just me rambling, but I think that's you know all I can really give. Like it's quite an emotional thing for me to talk about. Um, but yeah, I got I got my new camera, so I'm going to be doing more videos in the future. Thank you guys for watching, though, and you know what I say to anyone, everyone, and I, I want people to understand this so much. Like, please just don't give up. Like, if I got a third, you know, I would have wanted to give up so badly, and by giving up, I mean my life. Like, to be honest, um, but don't, don't give up. It doesn't matter how bad things are. Like. It will always get better, I promise you. Life, it always gets better. I have to tell myself that a lot because for me, I haven't, I haven't experienced that yet. Uh, I think my life is still very difficult. I think now I'm in a much better position. Um, but the, the hardship you go through, the shit you go through, it builds you. It builds your character. Um, it really does. And it's going to benefit you monumentally in the future when it actually matters more. Thank you guys for watching. Smash the like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new today. Take care, guys. Goodbye.